gentlemen, my talk today is fetal blood vessels and organ microvasculature depicted by SMI. I would like to introduce sperm microvascular imaging SMI. SMI is a novel technology that can augment conventional color power doppler. Main characteristics of SMI are suppression of low flow velocity motion artifact, high level sensitivity, high level resolution, and high frame rate. SMI employs proprietary algorithm that can filter out clutter without any loss of clinically significant information at low velocities. Traditional motion artifact filtration removes clutter and some clinical signals. SMI has higher frame rate in comparison with conventional Doppler technologies. There is an information on both vascularity and motion artifacts in the low velocity flow range. Conventional filter technology eliminates both low vascularity information and motion artifacts. SMI's filter is capable of suppressing motion artifacts and keeping low vascularity information. SMI with Doppler luminance is a new color Doppler which shows 3D SMI information on a 2D grayscale image by shading based on the amplitude of the color Doppler signal. This slide shows the published papers on fetal blood vessels and organ microvasculature using SMI. Okay, the first topic is fetal intracranial blood vessels. This slide shows intracranial vessels depicted by SMI at 34 weeks and 3 days of gestation. Middle cerebral artery and lenticular lent Storiate RD can be clearly identified. In this slide, recurrent RD of Huygner is clearly recognized. Here you can see lenticular storiate arteries from M1 segment of middle cerebral RT are clearly shown. In this slide, posterior cerebral RT, posterior communicating artery, and superior cerebral artery can be clearly demonstrated using SMI. The second topic is fetal lung microvasculature. Here you can see vascular densities of the fetal lung increase with advancing gestation. This is lung microvasculature depicted by SMI with Doppler luminance with 18 megahertz at 37 weeks and two days. This slide shows lung microvasculature using 3D SMI with the 18 MHz probe. The third topic is fetal intra-abdominal blood vessels. In this slide, celiac artery, common hepatic artery, splenic artery and vein, and adrenal artery are clearly shown. This is renal vascular, renal artery and vein can be clearly differentiated. The last topic is fetal intra-abdominal organ microvasculature. This is liver vasculature and adrenal artery using SMI and Doppler luminance. This slide presents fetal liver microvasculature at 22 weeks of gestation. The liver microvasculature shows a coral-like appearance. This slide shows splenic microvasculature at 27 weeks and 6 days of gestation. The splenic microvasculature shows a palisade arrangement of small vascular trees. Can you see? This is adrenal microvasculature depicted by SMI with Doppler luminance with 18 MHz probe. The adrenal microvasculature shows a cactus-like appearance. This is linear microvasculature with SMI with Doppler luminance using 18 MHz probe. The linear microvasculature shows a bubble-like appearance. This is linear microvasculature with 3D SMI using 18 MHz probe. Spatial microvasculature can be clearly recognized.
As shown in this slide, motion artifacts and noise due to fetal heartbeat, fetal movements, and maternal respiratory movements and maternal obesity are main limitations. In conclusion, SMI can clearly show fetal blood vessels and organ microvasculature. This technique may provide new insight into understanding the pathophysiology of fetal growth restriction, fetal anemia, and intrauterine inflammation in future research. So much for your listening.